What's going on guys? Today I want to talk about something that's pretty new to me. It's early in the morning, so good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. I want to talk about my bike and kind of what this is to me, why I got a bike, what it's going to do for me, uh, what I already know it's doing for me, that kind of thing. And maybe you guys feel inspired to get a bike too. If you're watching this channel, you probably have something in common with me, probably have the same interests as me. Let's talk about bikes. Okay, so this is my used bike. I bought it new to me. It's a Poseidon X drop bar. I'll put the link to their website down below. Uh, it's a smaller company. I did some research and no one's ever heard of it, but ultimately what I found out is it's a good frame set. So this frame and this fork, when I say frame set, that's what that's talking about. Otherwise, everything on the bike was upgradable. It wasn't the best quality, but the forks are carbon and it's got a strong aluminum frame with a pretty cool design, pretty much made in China, but it's still a good bike. And everything on top of that, uh, got you know light, phone mount, and bag, uh, storage rack, like bike rack, all that stuff, Amazon, right? Got a couple things like this pump and uh, cup holder from my bike shop. Um, and then, you know, some upgrades that already came on it were this Brooks seat. These are really good seats. Everybody who rides bikes long distance has one of those. Uh, it also came with some upgraded uh, handlebar tape, uh, upgraded brake lines, because these brakes were not very good uh, stock. So the guy who bought it already upgraded. And then I also have a suspension stem. So the stem will have some flexibility because there's a rubber bushing in there uh, when you're going over bumps and such. And then it also came with these Shimano two-way clipped or clipless pedals, which I like. I ride in my vans for now. Uh, that'll change. And more re recently, Another upgrade I did was I got this tubeless tire. One of the reasons I did end up getting a bike was I have a neighbor right there actually. Uh, he inspired me to get one, he's 70. He's talking about all these long distance bike tours he went on and it got me thinking how much I like the physical challenge, how much I like being out in the world with no, no barriers. You know, if you're in a car, you're in a metal tub and that can be fun for a while, but you're missing some element of feeling alive when you're pushing your body, when you're moving your body, you're feeling a lot. They don't know me, son! If you're present in the moment, if you do a plank right now, at minute three, minute four, depending on how in shape you are, you're gonna feel pretty alive. It's gonna suck, but you're gonna feel alive. And to me, when I ride a bike, I get that same rush, that same feeling of, man, I'm alive, my heart's beating, I'm, I'm here. For me, if I ride a couple miles, I'm in deep forest. It doesn't take that long. And you ride further and further and further wherever scenery imagine what it, it could be desert i don't know where you're at but imagine you just keep riding and riding your scenery is going to change slowly and you're going to be there only because of your own effort because of the force you've been putting on the pedal each pedal each time it goes around um, you're going to get to a new place in this world um, i know it sounds kind of dramatic when i put it that way but um it's, it's all under your own effort. When your travel is all coming from your effort, it brings you some sort of gratification. At least to me, it does. There's no engine, there's no gas, there's no money involved in getting you to that point. It's all you. And for me, I love having control in my life. I love having the freedom to do as I please. And having a bike is free. It's free, but it requires discipline. It requires you're in shape. It requires that you eat in hydrate to make sure your body has that fuel it needs to keep going, um, which I also like because I like working out, I like exercising. So those things, when they come together, it's like this perfect concoction of being able to go anywhere I want, anytime I want, it's free. I don't need to worry about how much it costs to get somewhere, I can just go, you know? And for some people they're like, oh, well, you know, it takes forever to get there or I don't want to ride in the rain. Or I don't want to ride a bike, period. And I get that. Maybe this video isn't for you, but at least for me, I already have a car I really like. It's a Porsche Boxster, a 986. I'm actually going to sell it because I want to get something newer uh, after I buy another property. But it's like riding a bike will always be there. It's relatively inexpensive. There's still cool bikes you can get too, like carbon bikes, carbon frame, carbon everything. And uh, you put your tent on there, you can go camping. You pack a bunch of stuff on your bike, you put your bike in a box, you ship it across the world, you can ride your bike in any part of the world if you ship it there. And you arrive by plane and unpack your bike, put your bike together. And that to me is just like the coolest thing. My mind's blown because 
the world is literally at my fingertips when the government decides to let me uh, go from the current employment position I'm in uh, with the government. So that is uh, really exciting. The only downside I can say is my wife isn't a huge fan of riding bikes like this. She's more of a vacationer and not a traveler. So we'll have to do some type of hybrid approach where I get to ride my bike and go out and you know enjoy the suck and she gets to chill on the um, <laughs> she gets to chill poolside under the cabana or something like that I don't know um, we're still figuring that part out but man I hope that inspires you guys or at least gives you some insight to why people are riding these bikes why people are so involved heavily into this hobby because you know at first I saw a bunch of people blocking the roadway in tights and I was like that seems kind of lame I don't want to do that but now I'm like, I get it now. I get it. Um, and just so you guys know, this bike, I can hold 16 to 18 miles an hour uh, pretty easily. It's a gravel bike, so it's not a full-blown road bike. But it comes with these tires right here. A little knobby, but not too aggressive like a mountain bike. It's really, <clears throat> it's really that sweet spot between having a, a road bike, but also having something capable enough to go off-road and go decent speeds on the road but you're not bogged down by such a heavy tread tire. So with road bikes, you know, people hold 40 miles an hour uh, easily if they're in shape and that's what they do. There's a guy on YouTube, um, if you type in S-A-F-A, -A, like Safa, Brian, uh, he rides road bikes. I don't know where exactly he's based, but he has a ton of like just road biking videos. And one of them is going, I think it was like 80 miles an hour through the desert. It's pretty wild. He's just on this full carbon bike. I looked at the bike cost. It was like 10 grand for this bike, which is mind blowing. Um, I would love to have one of those bikes to see how fast I could go. But imagine under your own effort, you're riding that fast, where you could go, how far you could go, um, who would you meet, what would you see, um, that kind of thing. But going back to it, Safa Brian, if you go watch his videos, they're pretty, pretty sweet, man. Check out Safa Brian's channel. Um, Go look at the video that I was talking about. It's one of his uh, top videos, but yeah, yeah, it's pretty crazy. If that doesn't make you uh, look at riding a bike, I mean, okay, that's kind of cool. I don't know what will, but uh, for sure, that makes me want to get a road bike at some point. But for now, I'm happy with this uh, used gravel bike that I bought. Uh, I got it for 500 bucks, and you can't beat that, especially because it's relatively inexpensive. When you think about brand new, these are $1,200, you know, and up. You know, these bikes get really expensive. So I was really fortunate to find one that I liked and uh, just go on Facebook Marketplace if you're looking for one and look for a gravel bike, you know, and try to find one with points you can att attach like water bottles or different gear. You know, these are all different points that I can attach things to my bike. Otherwise, you'll have to find something that, find someone who can drill those holes for you. Um, and who knows if the bike can even accommodate the weight but since I know mine can, I'd try to find one like that. Um, I might start a different channel for biking videos. We'll see. I don't know if the algorithm is going to punish me for having so many different types of videos. Because I don't necessarily know what I'm going to enjoy putting out. I just know I want to put something out that I enjoy. Something that helps inspire others. Something that helps maybe get people thinking about what they want to do with their life or what would bring their life value. Um, I don't want to just put video out to put video out. Other than that, you're not going to see me push it out. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So, uh, I might start a channel. Just watch for that. Uh, it'll be only biking. It'd be only like adventure type stuff. Um, and maybe this channel will be just personal business stuff or what I'm doing. And I post every once in a while. I don't know. I'm still kind of in my head about where I want to go with this or different types of channels or if I want to have a YouTube channel. Is it a business? Is it a hobby? Um, and, and that part, I don't know yet, but I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you made it this far, drop me a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.